Oh, guys. One in one on the chili pad. Thumbs up. My recovery is 83% in the green. The night before was at 69. Night before, 74. I've just been upward trend, but chili sleep increased it. Honestly, got good sleep, not gonna lie. Like, it took some getting used to because it was cold and like the temperature's kind of off. So I felt like I was kind of fidgeting with it, but overall, like, it was nice and cool and I felt like I got good sleep, so. All right, guys, good morning. Sunday morning, active rest day, high carb day vibes going down. You know, I wanted to kind of update you, but there's not much to update you on. But I think we currently go on a run, get this Sunday morning started before it heats up. All right, guys, back from my run. Quick three miles. Oh, felt super good just to get out there, sweat, nice and easy pace. Ran around like eight minute miles. But let me go show you the updates. Also, quick update, I've gone two nights without taking Dream Aid. Recovery is super down. Not gonna lie though, I still feel like I got good sleep. Anyways, night three on the chili pad. So you guys can see it down there. This thing, I've been turning it on like 30 minutes before bed. Money, guys. I've been sleeping really good, nice and cold, nice and cool. But yeah, so my whole order came in, guys. Uh, I'll show you right now what I got, but I originally ordered four. They screwed up and delivered the wrong package. Four little girls didn't get their package. Anyway, it's got four of the thing I was supposed to get, but whenever I was worried that the package didn't come in, I ordered another four, then they sent another freaking four, and I I'm having a hard time returning this crap. Anyways, guys, this is what I ordered. I ordered basically fake boxwood hedge panels. So that's gonna just make the background look aesthetic, make it look nice and neat, because our fence isn't the most good looking right now. And honestly, as you guys know, wood prices are through the roof, so they're definitely not gonna redo the fence. So this is just a nice alternative. Anyways, you guys will see it once we start putting it together. All right, guys, this is the current update. Uh, as you guys can tell, not not much of a difference from last time. I'm kind of bummed, but also I'm just learning to stay patient. Gonna have to wait another week. This is a Memorial Day long weekend, so I don't know if the cement plant was open. My contractor could or could not get cement, etc. Anyways, it was a long weekend. Maybe he just didn't want to do it, but he said next weekend for sure if he couldn't this weekend. So I hopefully, or maybe hopefully, could just come through during the week because it's not a big, a big job. He said so. That's the current update, guys. Gotta stay patient throughout the week. I'm gonna keep you guys in the loop. Like I said, I'm documenting this whole process, this whole journey. I'm so pumped you guys are following along, guys. So just gotta stay patient. New week training will keep my mind off of this but also my garage is just kind of getting full and i need more room to lift and stuff especially with like my sisters and my family and friends coming over here to work out so kind of getting impatient but also just like okay another week no biggie let's train hard and then it'll come before we know it so keep you guys posted all right guys memorial day murph going down right now <laughs> All right, guys, quick little update. Got a little care package sent over from Virus, guys. We got a pair of their Icon X2 shorts. Let's check it out. Icon X2 drip. Ooh, the new Intercosmic collection. We got a long sleeve Eco Thread hoodie in black. And we got a Virus Intel gold shirt. We got zero joggers, I already have a pair, so sending those back, hopefully get some new swag, but I'll do a little try on in this video of the shorts, the shirt, the hoodie. All right guys, quick little update. This is the last time that you guys are gonna see this like this. Tomorrow, 7 a.m., they are coming in and laying the cement. I may or may not have footage of that because I'm actually going camping. You guys are going on another trip with me, KPZ. Uh, last year we took a trip to Huntington. This is one of the many trips to come during the summer of me and KPZ. So we're gonna go head out. As you guys saw there, I packed all my stuff, literally just workout clothes, supplements, which you'll see tomorrow morning, and then a few snacks, literally like popped tortilla chips, got some cherries, got a sugar-free, a zero-calorie ginger ale, got one truly to sip on. I'll probably have a quarter of that, catch a nice buzz and then sober up. One gallon of water and an apple. Probably gonna pick up dinner on the way out. It's probably gonna be Subway. I know it's not the best, but honestly, Subway slaps when you're on the go to stay healthy. Anyways, quick little update of what he just did. So he just came by and put some wood on the edges in case I ever wanna redo the fence, which I do. But as you guys know, price of wood, you're paying an arm and a leg full right now. So the fence is gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to make it look pretty and aesthetic for the backgrounds, for YouTube videos and Instagram videos. Um, in the meantime, another way, but basically what he did was put a little piece of wood there and prepped it, so. That little 
little piece of wood is what he did. So all that along the edges, in case I ever want to redo the fence. And tomorrow, 7 a.m. sharp, this should be looking a whole lot different. So I'm also gonna be packing a barbell, a set of 25 plates, one kettlebell, and then like one dumbbell to get a morning pump session, so yeah. It's freaking, we're headed to the river. It's freaking river vlog, baby. He's back to load it up, about to float, about to freaking get in a boat maybe. Dude, who knows? There's this freaking person with a, a bug behind me just rolling up. I think it's like Shaw's dad. Dumbbells and stuff, and then the, uh... Hi. All right, guys, check it. Barbell. Just the essentials, baby. We got just the essentials on this trip. We're back in town, We're baby. back in town, baby. Hey, slight computer problems, We're, but we got them dialed. We just got to freaking hit up the software buttons, dude, and we're on the road, dude. You we're just the reset the motherboard real quick. If you guys, uh, I didn't film any of that, but basically the car was dying on us. Yeah, well, I'll tell them what's going on. So the roto girder was upside down, and I just had to flip it back over. And then I just put the key in and it went, it went right for it, dude. It's, it's, we're good, we're good. Roto girder problems, guys. We'll see you guys in a bit. We're going into the mountains, baby. The mountains. The mountain vibes, bro. Going into the freaking orchards, dude. Oh, that's sick. Wow, that's sweet. That's where the rich farmers live. Where the rich folk live right here. Going into that canyon right there. You see that? That's where the farmers with gardeners live. <laughs> Let's go. why you do not fly on this road. Drive slow, eat your damn subway, and none of that. Shit. All right guys, steak and cheese going down. Jalapenos, onions, spinach, the works, baby. Now, subway is one of those things that's like kinda underrated, like it's not the best, but if you're on a budget, this will do the job for a lot of food, so. And he controls all the crypto. I knocked over that something in there, dude. Knocked something over. The tent. I think it's gonna move the chair to the table.
Dude, what the hell, dude? What, what about our miles? Came in Jack, baby. Found him, he's running. <laughs> he's running. Hey, came in Jack, come back. What's up, pretty boy? Dude, you got it. You missed all the views. Dude, sun was setting down, <laughs> hitting the river, and there's a trail that goes along the whole riverside. So I went all the way up there, that peak, <laughs> came down. To the top of that peak? Just right there, yeah. And I came back down, I was feeling good. And then I went across the, the bridge, which you gotta do. All right, quick little warm up. So we're going probably just three or four, either one big long AMRAP or we're gonna go three or four quick little eight minute AMRAPs. We're gonna start definitely some shoulder to overhead, some sort of kettlebell swing. And then I'm thinking maybe like some sort of goblet squat or front squat with the fifties. So should be pretty good. Alright guys, so 8 minute AMRAP going down, 8 minutes, we're going to go 5 front squat, 8 shoulder to overhead, 10 kettlebell swings. Quick little 8 minute AMRAP of that. It's nice in here though. Okay, so we went, we went down the wrong trail. Oh god, our tour guide garb let us down the wrong trail. <laughs> and look at this sketchy ass trail he has us on. <laughs> It's not even a trail, dude. Talk about people that are young and not adventurous. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Well, our tour guide got us here safe and sound. Let's go. Only after seven miles the wrong opposite way. <laughs> Look, that's the rock. Uh, that's the rock guard was talking about. Biggest rock on earth. Guys, adventures of shots. G it was like a five. Ah, like three and a half mile hike. We definitely hiked like half a mile in the wrong direction at first with our tour guide, Chef Garby. But we're here and it goes deep, deep. So what do you think of the hike? What do you rate the hike? You know what? We're here. Hydrating, baby? Every day. <laughs> Let's 
Let's go. Yo, getting up here was easy. Yeah. How's it going, guys? Honestly, it's going yeah. Definitely don't want to see El Cocoon back here. Dude, this is crazy. Wow. This Incredible. Is like National Geographic in real life. <laughs> Literally. Dang. <laughs> he got his ass, dude. You scared him? You scared the living poop out of me, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, my brain. Oh, dude, my stomach hurts from laughing. <laughs> but he didn't let go of the beer. He did not drop his beer. Dude, I got a self leveler here. Let him know, Shashi. Let's go, baby. Breakfast club. Let's go. You got the fresh semen. Fresh semen. Steve, Steve just got done pouring it. Freaking, it's pretty innovative, honestly. Steve killed it on this one, guys. He knocked it out the park, honestly. I'm gonna freaking do some CrossFit right here. You have to do CrossFit. From there to there, rig. There to there's. Dude, it looks real now, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> Investments, baby. So he's investing in himself. Came home to an awesome surprise. Check it out, guys. It's finally done, man. Wow. Wow. It's so much more real now. Like, what the? It's so real. Like, this is where the rig's gonna start where it'll end, probably like about there. This is savage, that's gonna be our view out there. The mountains, fresh air, like what? All this room, that's savage. That's our view out there, the mountains. Oh, I can't beat it. Shoot, I'm so hyped. So hyped. Just like looking at this, visualizing everything. Oh, it's gonna be sick. It's about to be sweet. Holy crap. Wow, I'm just pumped. Probably gonna wait a day or two, let it set. Tomorrow afternoon, I'll start working on the fence, adding the stuff to make it look nice and aesthetic. And then hopefully like Monday, I can start laying out mats for the configuration and we'll start putting up the rig, so it should be pretty cool and exciting. Finally complete.